Hello, and this is Sunny. Welcome back. In the last video, I talked about virtual ports and why computers on a TCP/IP network need virtual ports. Today, my topic is port number, three categories of port numbers, and some well-known port numbers we need to know for the National CompTIA Network Plus, Security Plus, and other tests. Port number is 16-bit values. 2 to the 16th power is 65,536. The range of port number is from 0 to 65,535. A port number defines a virtual port or logical connecting point on a computer. A port number can define a virtual port to access a specific service on a server or a communication connecting point on a client computer. There are three categories of port numbers. The first category is called well-known port numbers. There are 1024 well-known port numbers from 0 to 1023. 2 to the 10th power is 1024, one of the most frequently used numbers in the computer networking field. Well-known port numbers are allocated to a server and are reserved for use by TCP and UDP applications. Very few well-known port numbers are used by a client application. Well-known port numbers are controlled and assigned by IANA, Internet Assigned Numbers Authority, a standard organization that oversees global IP address allocation, port numbers, and other Internet numbers. The second category of the port number is called registered port numbers. They range from 1024 through 49,151. They are not controlled and assigned by IANA, but users must register with IANA to use TCP UDP applications. The reason we have the second category of port number because the first category of the port numbers, well-known port numbers, could not possibly cover every application. Software vendors should be free to innovate and use registered port numbers for their server applications. Other software vendors should respect these registered port numbers and use a different one in this category. If another vendor chooses the same port number and they are run on the same system, there would be a problem. The third category of port number is called dynamic or private port numbers. They are from 49,152 to 65,535. Those port numbers are open for use without approval from IANA. They are free to use. They are used by client programs, not servers. Dynamic port numbers are also known as ephemeral port numbers or random port numbers. They are short-lived, temporary, and arbitrary. I will talk about ephemeral port numbers in a separate video. In the next several minutes, I will briefly talk about 14 well-known port numbers we need to know. 20 is for FTP data transfer, 21 FTP data control or command, 22 is for secure shell or secure version of a telnet. 
Twenty-three is for telnet, is on safe, on secure, tax、uh, communications. Twenty-five is for simple mail transfer protocol, SMTP, basically used to send emails. Fifty-three for domain name system, DNS. Sixty-seven, sixty-eight. That's for dynamic host configuration protocol or DHCP, and sixty-seven is client to server, or sixty-eight is server to client. Sixty-nine is for trivial FTP or TFTP, non-secure FTP. Eighty. Is for HTTP or hypertext transfer protocol, not a secure web service. One hundred ten is post office protocol or POP version three. It's management of the email message used to retrieve email from server from email server. One two three is For NTP or SNTP, NTP Network Time Protocol. Uh, SNTP is Simple Network Time Protocol. One forty-three is for Internet Message Access Protocol or IMAP four version four. Is also、um, used to retrieve email from email servers, just like. Um, post office protocol (POP). Four four three or four hundred forty three is for secure version of web application (HTTPS). Most applications you might notice are TCP, but there are some UDP like DHCP, Trivial FTP,、um, NTP, or Simple NTP. I hope this video is helpful. Thank you very much, and see you next time.